Uh, right now, though, please welcome the leak science correspondent, Matt Young. It's great to be back, guys. Now, it's not without its risks, Matt, because last time we asked you here to talk about uh, climate science, and you started talking about all kinds of magic. Uh, now, I hope we're not going to have any kind of religious nonsense this week. You got it, Anthony. No religious nonsense. I'm just here to talk about solar energy. I swear, yes, humans may have a track record of worshipping the sun as a god, be it in Egypt as Ra, or in Greece as Apollo, or as that baby's head in the Teletubbies. But <laughs> I'm here to praise the sun for different reasons. I'm here solely for solar. I'm, I'm here because I'm disappointed in Australia, to be honest. We have the highest levels of solar radiation in the entire world and we're underutilising it. Last year, we added 0.84 of a gigawatt to our solar energy supply. That's like buying a carton of tinnies and drinking half of one can. It's un-Australian and it's piss weak. <laughs> That's like growing a football field full of wheat and making one loaf of bread. We could be making a lot more bread and we could be making a lot more bread. We could be the solar nation. If we took the huge amount of empty, sunny space in our country and used it to build solar-powered cities, we could expand our economy, we could house migrants, we could lead the world in renewable energy. Yeah, the outback's hot. So what? You know what runs an aircon? Electricity. If we embraced solar, Australia could be a real world leader. Lord knows America's going under, but even Donald Trump wants solar panels on his border wall. We're sitting on nearly 7 million kilometres of underused land and some people have the audacity to suggest that instead of laying down panels, we keep digging up mines. You know why? Because Australia loves DIY. We love the idea of swinging a pickaxe at a piece of coal. We love the idea of operating a digger. We just love tradies. We, what we need is for solar energy to pique the public's interest. That's why I'm making a direct appeal to the heads of the seven and nine networks to commission special editions of The Block and House Rules so that we can get all of our brickies, chippies and sparkies racing to the outback for their shot at brief glory and Australia's shot at world domination. This is community TV, Matt. You just can't pitch to a network. I'm trying to save the planet, Pat. <laughs> kind of sounds like you're trying to take over the world. <laughs> Who says you can't do both, you know? I say you can, and the sooner energy companies get that idea through their thick skulls, the sooner we can get Scotty Cam melting down his gold logies to wire up a solar panel. <laughs> the sooner Jamie Jury's operating a solar-powered barbecue, the sooner I can get down to being the mayor of Sunnyvale, Western Australia. Sun City. Sun Town. Solicon Valley. Thank you, Matt. Thank Every you. Every day is Sunday. Cool. <laughs> and now to